Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess of Phil Sabrina Acapo, and I am back again via the leading of the Holy Spirit with another prophetic word for you guys. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the Spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. And Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ, mighty name that I do pray. Amen, 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 amen. Tidy, you guys, of this prophetic word is a renewal of spirit and mind, a reestablishment now happening. A renewal of spirit and mind, a reestablishment is now happening. Let me jump off into you guys. So, you guys, I am actually at my mother's house earlier on today, and she had this magazine that was talking about things that you can do to actually renew your mind and your body. And then the Lord further confirmed that he wanted me to bring this word forth once I got off into prayer because he also had me to speak about the scripture of renewing of your mind into the atmosphere. It was Isaiah 40 and 31. But those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in him will gain new strength and renew their power. They will lift up their wings and rise up close to God like eagles rising toward the sun. They will run and not become weary. They will walk and not grow tired. Holy Spirit is further said a kingdom mindset, even kingdom thinking, and not just your mindset, but a reestablishment. It's happening. And the Lord is saying all the way around the spectrum. And I hear the Holy Spirit say, as a man think in his heart, so is he. And when he said all the way around the spectrum, he is saying because there is plethora of blessings and he's wanting you to be prepared. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. The Lord is doing a renewal of your thinking, even a restoration. The Lord is saying a sound, healed, like, made up mind, even the mind of Christ. Holy Spirit is saying not even just conformed, but transformed completely in totality. Transition to fulfillment, to fulfill a mandate and a mission of purpose along with destiny the way the Lord intended. Holy Spirit is saying a renewal that's going to cause you to be swift on your feet and even steadfast along with a movable letting nothing stand in your way stop block tie you up or tang you up but a renewal to the point of no return that you are unstoppable you are unshakable and you are unbreakable the lord is even changing your heart posture just like he did for david david was a man that was after god's own heart the lord is saying that would be for you psalms 51 and 10 created me a clean heart Oh God, and renew the right and steadfast spirit within me. Holy Spirit is saying inwardly and outwardly. The Lord is saying he's wanting this thing full and completion. A transition so you can walk freely into your rightful position. Put off the old way of thinking and the old patterns and walk into the reestablishment of the new self-improved, renewed you that is now happening. Ephesians 4, 22 through 24. To put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life 
and is corrupted through deceitful desires to be renewed in the spirit of your minds. And to put on the new self created after the likeness of God and true righteousness and Holiness, walk into your brand new mercies and victories, which are renewed on a daily basis, which are renewed every morning. Just as the eagle's wings are renewed, the Lord wants you to know this is your season to sprout up your new and improved wings, to soar higher dimensionally to bigger and better things. And he has brought about that position of change a renewal of spirit and mind. A reestablishment is now happening in every aspect and area of your life. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Don't forget to hit that notification bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that this word has really edified, exalted, and exalted your life today in such a phenomenal way by the grace and the mercy of God because the Lord is not only one to renew your mind, the Lord is one to renew your spirit, the Lord is even one to renew your time. He's one to do a total and completely reactment. He's one to do a total complete reestablishment. The Lord is saying all the way around the spectrum so you can walk into your promotional and rightful position of blessings. That's why he's working it out from all the way around the spectrum and changing old patterns and old mindsets so you can walk into the renewal and the re-establishment and the re-enactment of your next, which is now happening as we speak. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love each and every one of you guys. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see you all through to the greatness of success of God's best during this reenactment and reestablishment and renewal along with restoration of your spirit and mind uh, all around the spectrum in your life of now. It is happening. It is happening. The Lord is saying those wings are sprouting up. Those wings have been renewed. Those wings are stronger than ever. And the Lord is saying Never better you are at your best. That reenactment and that reestablishment is now happening. That renewal is happening now. No more less, but so much more. Your blessings are being released and increased. They are in store for you. And that renewal is now happening. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and we will most certainly talk on the next. I love you guys. And God richly bless you. Bye-bye.